All right, welcome to the homework for lesson five. This is module six of third grade. Please get your name on first so you don't forget it later. Travis measured five different colored pencils to the nearest inch, half inch, and quarter inch. He records the measurements in the chart below and he draws a star next to measurements that are exact. So he measured each pencil three times. And each time he rounded it to a different uh, a different mar a different fraction. So here is measured to the nearest whole inch, here is measured to the nearest half inch, and here he's measuring to the nearest quarter inch. This is the most precise of the three measurements. And we're going to see, that's what we're going to use for the first question, which is which colored pencil is the longest. Now remember, this which pencil is the longest is the red one. And here it says how many inches is it? It's six and three quarter inches. We'll take the most precise measurement. And then look carefully at Travis's data. Which colored pencil most likely needs to be measured again? Explain how you know. Well, the way to figure this out is to look at this chart, look at each measurement one at a time, and try to figure out if there's a measurement that doesn't make sense. So I'm going to look at this one. I'm going to look at the red one. I'm going to start at the top and work my way down. So looking at the red one here, if it was six and three fourths, could it round down to six and what? Six and a half. Well, you could draw a picture of it and think about this, right? If that's six and that's seven, that would be six and a half right there. There's six and three quarters. Well, if it was in between a half and three quarters, right, in between these two, then it would round up to seven, right, because it would be more than six and a half, so that one works. And would it be, uh, would, could it round down to six and a half? It sure it could. If it was right here, if it was right there, then it would be closer to six and a half than seven, so that would round to six and a half. And then six and three quarters, you could round that. If it was closer to six and three quarters and it was a six and a half, then it would round up. So that, that works. All right. And now here we have, if we, if we were at five and a quarter, oops, I'm going to be changed my color back. If we were at five and a quarter, uh, that would, or maybe it was a little less than five and a quarter, then it could round down to five. As long as it was closer to as long as it wasn't right, it's not exactly at five and a quarter because that would round up to five and a half. So that tells me that that's not exact. It's a little bit less than five and a quarter. So that would round down to five and then the nearest whole inch would be five. So that works too. And now looking at yellow, if it's right at five and a half, well, okay, this would work here and it would, that would be the same because that this, this is a, this is also a quarter inch mark. It would be five and two fourths. And that, if it was right in the middle like that, five and a half, we would round it up to six. So that works. And then five, right here, we have the same kind of thing as with the red pencil. The purple pencil is similar to the red pencil, except we're in between two different inch marks. So if it's close to four and three quarters, then it could round up to four and three quarters. But, it would, but for half inches, it would round down to four and a half instead of up to five. But for whole inches, it's more than four and a half, so it would round up to five. So, okay, that works. And then for the green one, well, let's see. If it, to the nearest inch, it's two. But to the nearest half inch, it's three? Huh? Well, if it's measuring to the nearest inch, that means it's close to two. Well, it could be more than two. But... In the, the near that doesn't make sense at all and then the most precise measurement is one is less than two so but if, if the most precise measurement is less than two it can't round to three it would round up to two so there's something wrong with a green pencil here so that's what i'm gonna say uh measure the green pencil again And really, this this is uh, 
this question is really about just if you you got to draw some kind of a picture like I did of this ruler and maybe label it better than I did if it helps but that's what you just have to imagine is there where in the ruler would this be and would all of those measurements round up or down from that me is there a measurement that could be like that and then when you get to that green one you can see right away that three just can't be right so measure the green pencil again it can't round down to It can't round to both one and three fourths and three inches. Evelyn marks a four inch paper strip into equal parts as shown below. Label the whole and the half inches on the paper strip. All right, so it's a four inch paper strip, equal parts, the whole and half inches. So this would be zero. The whole inches I'll do for a zero, one, two, three, and four. And the half inches here will be one and a half. Oops, that's just a half. Let me fix that. This is a half. This is one and a half. This is two and a half. And this is three and a half. Done. Now estimate to draw the quarter inch marks on the paper strip okay and then fill in the blanks below so I'm gonna to estimate to draw and I'm gonna do this in a different color just so it's easier to see the quarter inch marks are gonna be in between all the half inch marks so like right in the middle there right in the middle there 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 and there because the ones that were already on there were all half inch marks all right so done that uh, one inch is equal to how many half inches well it's equal to two half inches right because we got this half inch and that half inch so there's two half inches and about how many quarter inches is it so quarter inches it's good for this one and that one and that one and that one that's four of them four quarter inches one half inch right which is this right here is equal to how many quarter inches so that's that one two so it's the same as two quarter inches and you might already know that it takes two quarters to make a half and then two quarter inches are equal to how many half inches so that's kind of asking the same thing backwards right so here's look at the two quarters one two how many half inches is that that's just one Travis says his yellow pencil measures five and a half inches. Ralph says that is the same as 11 half inches. Explain how they're both correct. So I'm going to draw a picture for this. So we need a, a picture of a pencil. There's the eraser. There's the pencil. And maybe you can draw pencils than I can, better than I can. But we need this to be five and a half, so. Let's make this wide and zoom in. How are they both correct? So this would be zero, right? And this would be, that's five and a half. So the whole inches, let's just go, let's just guess, right? That's one, two, three, four, five. And we'll call this, and we should probably make them a little bit bigger, but I'm not gonna. So the whole inches are one, two, three, four, five. 
and the half inches are going to be I'm going to make little half inch marks in between here. In fact, this might make a little more sense if I go all the way to six. There's five and a half, and this could be six and a half, right? So now I'm going to count half inches, right? So that's, I can, I can just circle those. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's 11 half inch marks. So that picture right there can be your explanation. And I'm just for my answer statement, I'm just going to say uh, I can say this. It takes ten halves to make five. Whole inches and one more half inch makes eleven halves.